Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, today it's not going to be a mukbang. Um, I'm doing things a little differently. I'm still going to do my mukbangs, but um, today I want to actually talk about weight loss and why you may not be losing weight. Okay, so as a person that has lost weight, and I did write notes down because I have some things that I need, I want to share. But as a person that has lost weight a number of times and has gained it all back, I know how to lose weight. I know how to get it off and I know how to keep it off. I also know triggers that will cause you to gain it you know, back and gain it back quickly. Because as we all know, it's hard to get the weight off, but it's easy to put it on. And um, something as simple as a candy bar, um, a person might eat a candy bar, a cupcake, and say they haven't really had anything to eat. All I have is a candy bar, a cupcake. Well, most candy bars have over 500 calories, sometimes six or more. And cupcakes have way more, maybe a thousand. Now, all depending on your weight and your size, our bodies are only allowed a certain amount of calories a day. If your body, now that's any of us as a human being, if our body gets more than 3,500 calories, that's a pound. So if you're putting on 3,500 times 2, that's 2 pounds, it's easy to do. Because if you're a drinker, um, alcohol has a lot of calories. Um, if you eat a lot of junk food, that is a lot of calories. Junk food can be substituted for a meal, not as far as your hunger, but as far as uh, what your body needs, as far as calories, yeah. So um, I just wanted to make that point. But like I said, as a person that have lost weight a lot of times, I've lost 105 pounds in nine months. What I did at that time, um, I had cut out majority of carbs, very little carbs I was eating. I was doing more meats and uh, veggies. I wasn't counting calories. I just had myself on a strict eating schedule. And once you start doing something, your body gets used to it. So you don't get hungry after a while like you're starving. And, and you just eat around those windows. So... I did that, uh, but I also exercised twice a day, and at that time, um, I was in four car accidents, so I can't do the exercise and the things anymore, but at that time, I was doing exercise at 4.30 in the morning before I got ready for work, and uh, then I got my children together, got everybody out, we got to you know school and work. Then in the evening before I went to bed, I did another workout routine. The morning was the heaviest routine. The night was the more easier one. And uh, I did that for nine months straight. I didn't drink any alcohol or anything. So um, I had cut out the cigarettes because I used to be a cigarette smoker. But every time I got on a weight loss kick, I would stop smoking. Right now, I'm almost five years cigarette free. I'm not smoking cigarettes anymore. I'm, August will be five years I stopped smoking cigarettes. So... Um, but that was one of the times I lost weight, uh, 105 pounds in nine months. I also had lost 65 pounds in two months. This came doing, from doing something called the Bernice diet. And that's another thing that cut out um, carbs. But it was kind of strict too. You eat three times a day. And with the Bernice diet, you can eat every morning though you had to eat what, two strips of bacon and two eggs and you can drink coffee or tea black with nothing in it. For lunch, you have to have a meat and a veggie and you can eat as much meat and veggies as you want. For dinner, a meat and a veggie and eat as many veggies as you want, eat as much meat as you want. After that, if you have a snack, it has to be like skim milk or tomato juice. And I did it and lost uh, the 65 pounds in two months, but that wasn't something that I could stick to. Um, what I was doing the first time I said with the 105 pounds, I could have stuck to that. Uh, another time, I had lost like 17 pounds in a week. And that was from the Bernie's, um, doing the, uh, the Bernie's diet also. And uh, like I said, I had been in those four car accidents. So after that, I couldn't do the workout, do the working out anymore. But I found that I could still lose weight because I have lost weight. The 105 pounds that I lost... No, after the 105 pounds that I lost and I had actually got on keto, I didn't weigh myself on keto, but I know I lost a nice amount of weight because how my body changed. Keto is one of those diets that eat the fat off of your body. It eats the fat off of your body. So 
a lot of times you don't always see the scale go up and down in numbers. You see how you look in your clothes and how your body is transform, transforming to from this to that, that to this. And you know how you look in your clothes and things. So I saw that a lot of fat was leaving. And after a while, it's going to add up to pounds, okay? Because fat add up to pounds too, but... Our keto was a good thing, and keto has some really good meals that you can fix on keto, but what you got to get used to is keto. You got to get used to counting macros, which is counting the cal your calories, your starch, the calories in your fats, and the calories in your protein. And according to something called a TDD calculator, you have to go into that calculator and put all the information it need in, and it will tell you how much of these things you need in, um, daily in order to lose fat, body fat. Okay, another way of losing weight is simply counting calories. I find that that is the easiest one for me. Because once I put my weight, age, and all of this, everything I do, my exercise level, everything into the calculator, it comes up with how many calories my body should have per day. And I followed that and I lost some good, good fat off of my body. Now, the reason that I'm back to square one again, something that happens in all of our lives and it, it can ruin things for you, is stress. When you are under stress, your body's under stress, I don't care how much or how hard you try to lose weight, it is not going to work. If it do, you're going to lose it the unhealthy way. Then you're going to start looking what they call skinny fat, where you got this hanging skin and stuff on you. Oh, you lost weight, but you might look good when people see you walking out in the street in your clothes. But when you take them off, you hate what you see. We don't want to lose weight like that. And that also can come from when you lose um, weight or fat too fast, where we want to lose 10 or 20 pounds in a couple of days or a week or so, whatever, whatever. You want to allow your body to lose weight gradually because you don't want your body to think it's going into starvation mode. Because if your body does that, it's going to hold on to the fat and you're not going to lose anything. So, like I said, stress is one of the biggest factors in my life that's stopping me, that stops me every time I get started. Because I can get it off and get it off very easily and very well. But like I said, with the stress, yeah. And we all have different triggers for stress. Some could be relationships, and I find out that's what mine is. Every time I get into a relationship, things get so stressful, and that's when I, everything is in reverse for me. I pick up every pound that I lost. For some people, it could be a job. It could be your children. It could be just life itself. It could be from some people being lonely. Stress, I mean, we all face stress and have stress in our lives for all different kinds of reasons, but that's one of the biggest, biggest, biggest factors of not being able to lose weight and keep it off. But uh, I, um, I just wanted to come and share that because, like I said, keto worked very, very well for me. I have some videos of keto that, that I've done when I when I was doing keto. I still have some videos because I had a keto channel on YouTube, but I took it down. But I also took my videos off of it before I did. And I'm going to upload those videos, you know, different times on this channel. For the ones who want to see some of the keto meals that I had prepared at that time. Because I'm actually thinking about going back to keto. If I don't go back to keto, eventually I will be starting to count calories again. I'll still be doing my mukbangs, but they're going to be count. They're still going to probably be good food, but the counter is going to be counted. And uh, before I guess before I start doing that, we, I got to get rid of the whatever I feel like the stress is in my life. So I just wanted to um, guys just come and talk about that a little bit because I know a lot of people are struggling with losing weight. It is a very hard thing to do, but it's also a mindset type of thing. So when you put your mind to something. It's all it's basically a done deal once you know we put our mind to it. So um if you have any questions or comments, please put it down below. Um if it's something that you would like to discuss, um yeah, put those comments down below and I would be happy to answer those comments. Like I said, I'm I know different ways that weight can be lost, so and I I've I've done quite a few things. I haven't mentioned everything because it'll take a while to go into everything, but just remember that um, if you're not losing weight and you don't want to know why and you want to know why, stress could be the factor in it. 
Because we get stressed when we when something when we want something done and we can't get it done. That's stress right there. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you again on the next one. This is the V, which is me. And I am signing out. It is so cloudy about to pour down outside, y'all. It's thundering too. So I'll see you guys again on the next one. And thanks again for watching.